Welcome to eLearning Portal. This video is about the configuration of the Tender Wi-Fi modem. Connect the PoE LAN or WAN port of the device to the PoE port of the adapter with an Ethernet cable. Connect your computer to the LAN port of the adapter with another Ethernet cable. Connect the power cord to the adapter's power port. And connect the other end of the power cord to a power outlet. Now we have to do the configuration of the AP that is access point. Click the internet icon on the bottom right corner of your desktop. Click on open network and sharing center. If you cannot find the icon on the right bottom of your desktop, then click on the start, then go to control panel, and then to network and internet, finally click on the network and sharing center. Now click on the Ethernet, then click on the Properties. Find and double click Internet Protocol version 4, TCP IPv4. Select Use the following IP address, type in the IP address, 192.168.2.x, x can be any number between 2 to 253, subnet mask. 255.255.255.0 and then click on OK. Input 192.168.2.1 in a web browser's address bar and then press enter on the keyboard. Enter the default username and password, admin for both defaults, and click on login button. Please select the proper operating mode and follow instructions on the web UI to apply your settings. Select AP mode. Customize your SSID, that is Wi-Fi name. Set security settings, recommended. Security mode as WPA2PSK and encryption type as AES. Then click save on the appearing page to apply your settings. Wait until the device restarts automatically. For further settings, once again login into the Tender account. Click on the network then select LAN settings. Select the address type as static IP. Change the IP address to 192.168.1.101 then click on save and press OK to apply the settings. The changes made in the LAN settings will automatically reflect in DCHP server, DCHP client and the VLAN settings. Now input the new IP address 192.168.1.101 in the browser's address bar, and the press enter on the keyboard. Enter the username and password and click on login button. Here, you can see, the change in the IP address is reflected. Click on the wireless tab, select the basic, set the required values. Click on the save button. Now click on the advanced setting under wireless tab. The range of the transmission is from 0.1 km to 20 km. Set it to 10 for now. And then click on the save button. Under Advanced Setting you can change LAN Rate, Diagnose and Network Service. Under Tools, set the date and time as per the location. Likewise set the Maintenance and Administrator settings. Go to System Log, click on Refresh it will show the list of clients logged in and the time of login. Now. AP is ready. Before configuration of client point modem, 
switch on the AP modem by giving power supply and connection. And then configure CP modem. Now we must do the configuration of the client station. Input 192.168.2.1 in a web browser's address bar, and then press enter on the keyboard. Enter the default username and password, admin for both defaults, and click on login button. Please select the proper operating mode and follow instructions on the web UI to apply your settings. Select station mode. Select the remote SSID, Wi-Fi name, you wish to bridge from the list. Enter the key, that is Wi-Fi password, of the remote SSID if needed. If the remote APS IP address is 192.168.2.1, this APS IP address should be 192.168.2.x, X can be any number from 2 to 254. Then click on the save button on the appearing page to apply your settings. Wait until the device restarts automatically. When the signal threshold LED stays solid, it has been bridged successfully. For further settings, once again login into the tender account. Click on the network then select LAN settings. Change the IP address to 192.168.1.100 then click on save and press OK to apply the settings. Now input the new IP address 192.168.1.100 in the browser's address bar. Enter the username and password and click on login button. Check the DCHP server, DCHP client and the VLAN settings. Click on the wireless tab, select the basic in the basic settings. Here, you cannot change anything. Click on the save button. Now click on the advanced setting under wireless tab. The range of the transmission is from 0.1 km to 20 km. Set it to 10 for now and then click on the save button. Click on access control under wireless tab, and then click on save. Under advanced setting you can change land rate, diagnose and network service. Under tools, set the date and time as per the location. Go to system log, click on refresh it will show the list of clients logged in and the time of login. Click on the status tab, it will show the system information, wireless information and under statistic it will show the throughput graph of VLAN and LAN. This is how the client configuration is done successfully. Thank you.